What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about protein synthesis. Before we get into this, I highly suggest you look at macromolecules and DNA replication and the structure of DNA just so you have a basic understanding for this topic. It's going to help you out a lot in understanding. If you don't want to learn that, I don't see why you wouldn't. It saves a lot of time and it will help you understand. But if you don't, make sure you really understand what I'm saying because it might the the notes i prepared for day for today really bases off your understanding of dna replication um, dna structure and the macromolecules of life all right protein synthesis what is it so basically it's the creation of proteins protein building that's basically what protein synthesis means uh, we're going to use this from dna and rna molecules um, there's uh, two steps to these. One's transcription, creating the messenger, translation, using the messenger, translating the messenger into those DNA, um, or not those DNA molecules, translating the messenger into um, the polypeptide or protein chains. So we have transcription first. Um, to start, DNA is gonna be held in the nucleus. This is important. Um, just for the whole process understanding the movement we're starting in the nucleus um, but we're gonna go to a DNA molecule and we're gonna take RNA polymerase remember polymerase is building um, you remember DNA polymerase it builds well this is gonna also build and it's called RNA polymerase we're gonna build RNA uh, strands in in this case we're gonna be building mRNA um, we're gonna do this by the RNA polymerase splitting the DNA molecule into two strands and we're gonna as you can see in the little diagram down here we start building the um, um, mRNA and it's gonna actually leave and just so you know mRNA stands for messenger RNA that's important to know what these little um, what would you call it prefixes to the RNA means messenger RNA we're also gonna see transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA we won't really get into ribosomal RNA. It's kind of self-explanatory, but we'll get to that later. Um, RNA has the following base pairs. So if you remember from DNA, um, adenine went with thymine, thymine went with adenine, guanine went with cytosine, cytosine went with guanine. Well, in this scenario, we're actually going to add another one. Adenine is going to code for uracil, thymine is going to code for adenine, guanine with cytosine, cytosine with guanine. So just remember when we're coding, um, the complementary base pairs adenine makes uracil thymine makes adenine and basically what happens is that um, mRNA come detaches and it becomes its own separate thing and that brings us into part two where it's going to leave the nucleus um, we're actually going to make our way over to the ribosome which builds proteins if you remember from the structure um, of the cell and the things in it the organelles um, an important fun fact to know is that DNA is too big to leave the nucleus. This is why we do um, the trans the transcription part in the nucleus is because the DNA is too big and the RNA can leave through the little holes in the nucleus. So I do more research on that on your own if you want to learn more about that. Um, so we have translation next. Translation, we're going to translate that mRNA, the messenger RNA, into that protein. So inside the ribosome, this is where it's going to happen. Remember, ribosome's main function is to build proteins. tRNA is, and this is transfer RNA, it's these little funny looking things. Um, these bring your um, amino acids. This is what these little skittle-like circles are. Um, so tRNA brings those amino acids to the mRNA and it's going to little, literally attach on to these things called codons. And codons are literally just the base pairs. So we have three of the base pairs. Here we have GAU and like over here we have AGU, CGU. And what it's going to do is tRNA is going to be complementary um, in the sense that um, adenine will code for uracil, same thing. Um, it's just like another conversion, basically. And we're going to follow that same format. So like DNA, we're following the DNA format, but then we're going into the RNA format. But here we're just reversing it with the RNA format, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm kind of going on a tangent here, but, uh, you know. 
so yeah, that's all you need to know for that part. Um, but once we actually move down the chain, these are going to attach, bond to the polypeptide chain, which if you remember from macromolecules is just a bunch of amino acids put together. And it's going to boom, put one on, put one on, put one on, put one on. It's going to make this long chain. The uh, tRNA or yeah, the tRNA is going to just go bye bye. And, that amino, and these amino acids are going to bond together and form that polypeptide chain. And that's really it. Um, something that you need to know for what amino acid it codes is using a codon chart. For our codons, remember that's the three base pairs in mRNA. We'll go back to that little thing. These are going to help the tRNA code for the um, polypeptides. So we're going to use a codon chart. So whatever we have, we're going to literally just code. So let's say we had the mRNA codon UCA. UCA, if we go over here, we start at U in the middle. So you pick one, we go U, C, on the next ring and then the last ring a um, we have I can't I don't think I can even say that serine serine something like that that's an amino acid and that is what your mRNA will code for so you can kind of predict what the polypeptide chain will look like based off of your codons practice time let's practice this so I'm gonna give you the DNA strand remember this is in your um, translation part we're gonna translate it, then we're gonna transcribe it so you can pause the video now if you'd like um, just know remember we're starting with DNA going down to RNA with um, transcription and then we're gonna translate it into those amino acids so pause the video get that done when you're when you come back off the answers all right you guys ready I hope you guys are hope you guys didn't have too too much trouble Okay, so something you're going to notice is AUG is a very common start codon. It's going to code for MET. I forget what it, it spelled out is, but it's going to be MET. That's going to be your start codon. We're going to go through all these little amino acids, and we're going to get a stop codon. UGA is a pretty common one. There's a few other ones. I just forget their exact ones. But you should have went from DNA, coded, or, or transcribed the mRNA sh uh, strand and then we would have translated it into these amino acids so um, if you are in biology right now I hope your teacher really just gets this in your head once you understand the process this will become a lot easier for you and overall will just be a lot better um, but that's about it guys if you guys did enjoy please like subscribe support the channel if you can and that's going to be it. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.